Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because today I'm going to be trying for the first time a brand that has been like on my radar but I have never hold the trigger into buying something from them but this time i did and i am talking about nomad cosmetics and of course i bought their ghost town usa palette this one was really cute well i'll say this though my favorite from them as far as like color story it's hudson valley but this one i was very intrigued about this one so i decided just to pick it up and i look at this look at this packaging let me get it out. Look at this. It is so freaking cool. I love it. So, yes, I got this one and I ordered soon enough. So, I was able to get the little thing where I got like a little discount. And I, <laughs> I actually already bought Hudson Valley palette let me take this off um i had this jacket because like i said i don't know if i said it but i went to the movies and usually it's cold there so i had a jacket but I, now that i'm sitting here it's getting hot so um before we begin if you're new here hello my name is carla and i am a makeup enthusiast I love to create looks and have fun with the makeup that i already have but i occasionally like in videos like today I review new makeup or I just try it on for you and, and more than reviewing it or not it's just to me to look at it play with it see if I like it or not see if you like it or not and just give you inspiration if you already bought this palette well you know you might as well get used out of this so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing today I'm gonna be doing five looks one palette today I'm gonna be doing only um well this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one eye one look the other eye a different look because i i was ex i was wanting to start recording earlier in the week but that didn't happen so uh yeah i'm gonna have to do the whole one eye one eye one eye one eye and then a final look with you know both eyes the same look but yeah like i said i am mostly focused on showing you videos and makeup with like more like inspiration to for you to keep using what you already have and not exactly be purchasing every new launch out there but once in a while it's okay to splurge on something you know and that's exactly what i did this time so let's go ahead and get started let me tell you a little bit about this palette this one is the um from what i understand nomad cosmetics does palettes that are inspired in destinations places that the owner has been to or traveled to and not only that they also choose a cause i think from that place and some of the money that you spend on this palette certain percentage of it goes to that cost so for this one an example the cost is i'm just going to read it as it says says it in the card we are so proud to support birds of prey at the peregrine fund that protects the habitats of raptors like the condors vultures eagles and hawks of america's wild west so that is super cool i think that you know some of the money that they make they donate it to these organizations i don't know but you get what i'm saying i just think it's cool that they donate some money and let's talk about this destination it says in barren tearing down dusty gravel roads rest deteriorate deteriorating that's a hard word uh mining towns of america's wild west once bustling settlements full of strike it rich fever sorry if i'm not reading literally um, they now are in arrested decay 100 years after fortunes and residents vanished. From Calico, California to Garnet, MT. What's MT, guys? I'm so sorry. If you don't know me, I, I'm not an American. <laughs> I'm Mexican, but I live here in the U.S. And, um, yeah, I, it, it's a little hard for me sometimes to know all of these little things. So, Minnesota? I don't know. Sorry. I really am sorry. <laughs> um, these ghost towns are full of unexpected sounds, unexplained sight sightings, and unimaginable, unimaginable tales that suggest perhaps they aren't as abandoned as they seem. Ooh, there's the spooky part. That's another thing. Like This is like their spooky Halloween collection, fall collection of this year. Um, the color story 
It's grit and gold. Not that that's the name of the palette because I feel like Trenmut got it wrong. Trenmut said that this was grit and gold, like the name of a palette. No, that's the color story theme, grit and, grit and gold. So that's about what this palette is. I believe, oh, how much did I pay for this palette? I wish I had wrote all of this down before I sat, sat down here and started recording, guys, but I'm sorry. It's kind of late and I really was excited about playing with this. Um, so yeah, I think that this palette was 57? 51? Something like that. Um, but if you use the discount code, I think you can get 10% off. I use somebody's code i don't remember the point is i ended up paying less than what it actually cost or about the same price but with shipping included so this is how this palette looks like and it is it is really cute i'll say this whoops sorry in this color story i feel like there's this nine palette side here and this other nine palette over here this is like your more neutral side and this is your more colorful side i am obviously more drawn to this side than this side because if you know me you know that I am not a matte person I'm not a matte girly I like my colors and I like them bright and bold but um I don't know what we're gonna be doing today I mean it doesn't really matter I'm not going anywhere it's already late so I think I'm gonna just I don't know deep dive into these things um let's should we do some swatches I know you guys love the swatches so I think I <laughs> Yes, let's go ahead and do some swatches. That way we see. Also, I read something about the formula of this. And they added some sort of like oil. Like I don't know if it was cactus or something. But it seemed really, really interesting. And obviously the embossing of this. I feel like Nomad, I've seen especially Hudson Valley. Their embossing is so pretty. Like they always kill it with the embossing of their eyeshadow palettes. So let's go ahead and start swatching. I'm gonna start on this side. Okay, it feels creamy, but kind of, um, what do I wanna say? Like thick? Yes, that's the word, it feels thick. Woo, okay, okay. I hate touching my pants like that, but all right. It, it has to stop being new at some point. Of course I did this. Um, Cause I have a tattoo over here, but let's go ahead and start swatching it over here. Let's see how this side, ooh, whoa, wow. That's all I'm gonna say. I did not even do it that hard. This swatch, first swatch was incredible. Oh, just so you know, I think I already said it, but I have never tried Nomad Cosmetics, so I'm kind of excited. And for that to be this first swatch, I am impressed. Let's see the second one. I know I'm not saying the names of the shades. I'm sorry. Ooh, that is cute. So the first one was Deadwood. This second one was Tombstone. And look at that. This next shade is Cup Copper Penny. Let's see. Copper Penny. All right. Let's see the next one. The next one is Garnet Empty. We'll just call it empty, okay? Let's see. Ooh, that's like a purple-ish. I don't know, it's pretty. It is pretty. All right, let's go ahead and swatch um, four more. I have five shades here, but I'm just gonna do four more. I'm gonna do like a, the nine neutral side on this arm and then the other side on this arm. So let's go ahead with, uh, Let's go ahead and, oh my goodness, I have, I'm making a hot mess over here. Let's go ahead and do Bandit, Bandit Queen, Undead Sheriff over here. This one is Ghost Train. This one looks very cool. And this one is Rhyolite Nevada. That one I know. All right, let's see. That one, uh oh, I closed the thing. That one was, wait a second. That one was Undead Sheriff. This one right here. You didn't swatch as good. And then, no, no, that one was Bandit Queen. I'm sorry, Bandit Queen. And then this one right here is Undead Sheriff. Also not very bright or not very noticeable. This one over here is Ghost Train. Ooh, I like that one. 
Definitely like that one. And the last one that I have is Rhyolite or Rhyolite. I don't know how that's pronounced. It's right here. Also very pretty. And then I just have one more. This one is called Quick Silver. Let me just swatch it over here. There you go. All right, out of this side, I think that my favorite shades are definitely this dark brown over here, this kind of like reddish copper, I don't know, and that purple right here. Let's swatch on the other side, the other nine that I have. So we're going to start with Skinner's Salon, Calamity Jane, and Dead Man's Hand. Oh, wait, I have one more. And this is going to be Gold Rush. All right. Woo, I'm excited for this side. So like we said, this is Skinner Salon. That's very pretty. This one is Calam Calamity Jane. That one is pretty too. This one is Dead Man's Hen. I feel like those two are similar. And then this one is Gold Rush. Ooh, very, very pretty too. All right, let's go ahead and do the other ones. I am not going to lift the palette anymore, guys. I'm so, well, fine, fine, I'll do it. This one is Calico, California. Smoky Quartz. Ghost Town. And Stagecoach Mary. And we'll do a rest of the key at the very end. Calico, California. Very pretty. This one is Smoky Quartz. Also very pretty. Um, this one right here is Ghost Town. Oh no, barely noticeable. And this last one is Stagecoach Mary. Very pretty. And I have the last one. The last one is Arrested Decay. I'm not going to lift it anymore, guys. Let's just do it over here. This one is, like I said, Arrested Decay. Alright, I feel like this last three swatches are not the best but those shimmers are for sure good and this grayish bluish are really really cute let me go ahead and clean my arms before i make a hot mess of my clothes but yes i am so far really liking it the formula seems very nice some of the mats are really good some are we'll see how they translate on the eye and for sure those shimmers they feel like super thick shimmers that are actually going to translate into the eye really really nicely so let's see and also let's see if any of this stains that's also a big thing for me let's see if they stain okay they don't stain which is good in case you were wondering they do not stain because there's some eyeshadows they they absolutely stain the moment you touch them but this is not the case with this one so all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me get my brushes. I don't know what I'm going to do if I am 100% honest. Um, oh no, these are the dirty brushes. Uh, where are my clean ones? All right, I'm gonna grab this one. It seems like it's dirty, but it's not. I washed it, but it's just stained. Like I said, those pink shades are, they, they definitely stain. I don't, not a big fan. But let's go ahead and get started, guys. I don't know exactly what I am going to do, but I think I'm going to start on this side with the more neutral shades. So I'm going to go ahead and grab, I'm going to grab Undead Sheriff. Let's see how that looks on the eye. And I'm not a big fan of cool tones, but I don't know. This palette just seemed very pretty, and I definitely wanted to try their formula so I decided to pick it up. As you can see on me, it looks a bit purplish. Doesn't look bad though, but it looks a little bit purplish in my opinion. I'm just applying this all over my crease. This is going to be my transition shade. Mm, okay. Not bad. Let's Now let me go ahead and apply that also on my lower lashes. And just so you know guys, I've been wearing makeup all day. So this makeup is like old already. I just didn't have a chance to apply eyeshadow because in my head I was like, oh no, I'm going to do it whenever I record this video, but little did I know that I was not going to have time to do that until nighttime. All right, I applied that on my bottom lashes and also on my crease. Now let me go ahead and grab another brush. 
I'm going to grab this Morphe M332 and I'm going to grab the shade. Um, I think I'm going to do Bandit Queen, this one right here. Like I said, I want to stick to those uh, neutral tones on this side. So let's see, Bandit Queen. Queen, queen and i'm just applying that under the other shade just to add some depth let's see how that goes mm, it seems a little bit patchy over here in the middle you see that let's see if i can fix that mm, not my favorite so far but we'll see Maybe it's just a brush. Sometimes I feel like certain brushes don't work very well with certain shades or formulas. So you just got to change the brush. But mm, it's fine. I'm not going to do anything because I'm going to put a shimmer anyway. But as you can see, there's definitely some patchiness right here with that Bandit Queen shade. So huh. I'm just going to blend it. I'll say this though. It does blend pretty easily between these two shades there's not a whole lot of like work to do all right let me go ahead and i'm gonna grab another brush this one is the blender brush 25e from farah and i'm gonna grab this shade this one right here called a deadwood and i am going to just deepen out my outer outer corner i'm afraid of that shade because it seems very 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 pigmented so tapping it is Oh my. All right, let's see how this goes. I'd much rather have just a little bit than a whole lot and then having to... Okay, yeah, this shade is absolutely... As you can see. And it is very, very, very cool tone. I'm not used to wearing cool tones. Okay, so far these shades are blending really, really nicely like I'm impressed about that except that one bandit queen shade not that one that one was not nice I'm just going back with the first brush to blend a little bit more over here it is pretty and I am not a person that likes cool tones all right I like that smokiness I'll say this that deadwood shade looks more cool tone on the eye than it looks on the pan or the swatch on my arm. I'm going to apply a little bit more. I'm just going to tap it though. Just tap, 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 tap. Ooh, look at that. That is smoky. That was absolutely smoky. All right, now what am I going to go in with? Mm, you know what? I'm definitely going to go with Garnet. That... This, this one right here, I totally want to use that one. So that's what I'm going to put on my lid. I'm not going to put on any glitter glue or anything. And I'm going to apply. Wow, it feels so creamy. That's, that's something else. I'm going to apply that with my finger. Ooh. And I just tapped it. Like I, I really applied very little on my finger. Let's see if I can build this up. But so far, this looks really pretty guys i really like it i'm gonna grab a little bit more oh no that little the little embossing is gone uh but let's see how this applies once i have i'll say this though it's like kind of like creamier almost like a putty feeling so it's a little bit harder to drag it on your lid Definitely a little bit harder than what I am used to with any other shades of other brands that I've tried. And I don't know if this is because of their like oil that they said, cactus prickly something. I don't know what it was. I don't remember. I'm sorry. But I don't know if it's because of that or just in general Nomad Cosmetics formula. It's more on that like um, putty side. But, I mean, I'm not mad about it. I'm just saying it's it makes it harder for sure. Oof, so far. Look at that. I love it. <laughs> okay, I'm very excited about this. I'm going to apply, I'm going to try a little bit more with that Bandit Queen shade. And I'm just going to apply it here, like in between the, the shimmer and the transition shade. I mean, it really doesn't do a whole lot right there. But... 
it is what it is and i'm gonna add a little bit i'm just gonna tap with no product that um this outer corner right here just to kind of blend the shimmer and the matte all right i love it so far and a little bit more of that on um, undead sheriff over here is my transition all right i definitely want to add a little bit more of like darkness and smokiness on my under eyes so let me go ahead and do that but for that i need to find a brush all right i couldn't find a decent brush so i'm just gonna use this color pop what is the color no it's not color pop it's an elf i think yes it's an elf i'm just gonna grab a little bit more of that dead wood shade i'm just tapping the brush and i'm gonna add it onto my lower lash line Ooh, that is dark and extend it over here all right and because it looks like an eyeliner thing here i'm just gonna blend this because i don't want that harsh line right there and last but not least i am going to blend this under eye area a little bit ah i poked my eye oh look i hate whenever that happens all right and then i think i'm just gonna add something in my inner corner for that Oh, what shade should I use? I think I'm going to use Tombstone, which is this first shade right here. This one. Yeah, I think I'm going to add that one. Let's add that one to my inner corner. And I'm just going to apply that with my finger like this. Let's see. Ooh, that's cute. That is super bright. That is pretty. All right, now let's go ahead and do the other eye. Once I'm done with both eyes, I'll put on the mascara and well, I'm not gonna, I'm not doing lashes. You guys know me, I don't do lashes. So <laughs> let me go ahead and start doing the other eye or let's go ahead together and start doing the other eye. And then at the end, I'll put on some mascara and we can compare both looks. Let me go ahead and grab another brush. All right, so I got another brush and let's go ahead. Now I wanna play with the other side. This one right here, I don't know if I want to do the greens or if I want to do the blues. I know that I'm not a big fan of blue, so I think, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get it over with. We're going to do the blues. So let's go ahead and start with Skinnier's Salon. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on my crease. Let's see how this looks on my eye. It's a little silverish, which it's, from what I've seen, that's kind of like how it pulls off on the eye, this shade silver-ish i applied a little bit more so i could get more pigment in here kind of regret it because i don't want it all over here but it is what it is we're gonna roll with the punches i don't know how i feel about that color <laughs> like i've said before uh these are just not my colors blues are not my colors all right, I'm going to grab another brush, and now I'm going to be applying the shade Calamity Jane, this one right here, um, which I can see it's the only one that has the end for Nomad Cosmetics um, as the embossing. Let's go ahead and apply this. I'm going to do a halo eye. Maybe that way I will like it a little bit more. I doubt it, but let's try. I'm just going to tap, tap, tap right here. Okay, this blue is not terrible it's just the first one the first one definitely is not my cup of tea and apply it in the inner corner of my eye okay i'm gonna apply a little bit more this one i can tell you it's a little bit more difficult difficult i'm sorry to blend i'm loving this side though this other side those shimmers are cute they're not the most sparkly shimmers i've seen but they are i don't know there's something else. I don't think I have any shimmer like this in my collection, this color. And if I do, I haven't used it, so I don't know. But it is cute. Mm, let's see. Let's go ahead and blend this up here. Because I'm not liking how it's looking like a muddy mess. And let's see if the perp I mean, the blues blend as good as this other shades over here. I don't think they blend as easy, but mm, no, I'm lying. They are blending. They're nice. This blue is kind of nice. This one at least, Calamity Jane. I'm just gonna leave it as is for now. And we're gonna start applying some of the shimmers. I think that I, <laughs> which one should I go with? I don't know. 
I think I'm gonna apply the shade Quicksilver to keep... <laughs> It's so sad that the embossings are pretty much gone. But yeah, this is a very putty formula, I can tell you guys. It's so... so ooh, that is cute. Okay. I like it. Not bad. Not my colors, but I can see myself mixing this with something else. That looks stunning. I'm still not turning into blue still. Okay. But I'm not gonna not say that it's not pretty. I really like that shine it's so nice so so pretty i'm gonna keep adding though a little bit more of that calamity jane just to um help here with the transition i feel like i took away from it Ooh, actually you know what i'm noticing if you put if you put the shimmer and then on top you just tap one of these shades it kind of changes the color of the shimmer and it looks really pretty. I don't know if you can see it, but like right here. It does change. Like it's still shimmery, but it changes from this like super silvery to this more like bluish shimmer. It is pretty. I like that. Because it gives you more options. It makes it versatile. I'm just going to apply a little bit of that shade over here. Okay, the shades blend nicely. I'll give them that. They do blend really, really nice. This blues. I'm not a blue person, guys. This this feels so weird. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab the shade. This one. Wait, wait. Oh no. Here. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab go ahead and grab the shade Dead Man's Hand. And I'm gonna grab this in a very small brush like this, like a pencil brush. So I'm going to put that in my lower lash line, just right there. I don't think I'm going to put it anywhere on my like lid or anything. I'm just going to put it over here. I feel like there's very little difference between this and the other ones. I might be wrong, but at least right here cannot tell a whole lot of the difference. Just maybe difference in undertone. That's pretty much it. And let's go ahead and... Add a little bit over here to the outer corner. Just to make it a little bit darker. There you go. Ooh, okay. And then let's put on top. Where's my other brush? Oh, here it is. Sorry. Blend right here. Look at that. Like the, def the difference in intensity on this side than this side. We can add a little bit more here and make it more intense. All right. And then with the very first brush, I'm going to blend this oh i'm gonna blend this bottom lashes all right guys this is the best i could do this like i've said before blues are not my color one more time we have confirmed that anyway let's go ahead and do the um my inner corner my shimmer inner corner for that i'm gonna use the shade um i don't know how this is pronounced real lit or rhylite nevada this one right here i'm just gonna apply that with my finger and i'm just gonna put it here that one is not as shimmery as this other one I'm gonna try to apply a little bit more okay that helped that's a little bit better not the best but now it got all mixed up with the blue so it was turning blue and that's not the color that i wanted this is what we got let me go ahead, put on mascara, and then I'll come back and, you know, with the final looks. All right, guys, I am back, and these are the final looks. I am obsessed with look number one. I am not a big fan of look number two, if I am 100% honest with you guys. But if you were, like, I feel like I keep, I need to keep blending or something. You see that? That's terrible. Oh, my goodness. Let's see if I can. <sighs> anyway guys i try my best okay but clearly i am not into blues but let me show you how look number two looks first because um i am obsessed with number one so let me cover my one and show you and it actually matches with the how it's looking like the palette right now it's it's not a bad look and these are not bad colors 
I just blue it's just not my thing I feel like I don't know how to work them obviously it got patchy over here is just not my thing but here it is But look number one, my absolute favorite, my hair is all over the place. Okay, and this is look number one. So pretty, so right up my alley. It's just like, I don't know. Everything fell. <laughs> but it's it's so pretty. It's more like me, you know what I mean? I have a hair. Um, yeah, absolutely pretty beautiful i love it even though i'm not a big fan of cool tones i feel like this ones are really nice and that shade over here it's kind of like purplish i don't know how to explain it it looked like reddish but on the eye at least on my eye it looks a little bit purplish it's so so pretty i love and i'm obsessed with this look i feel like i am going to recreate this on both of my eyes very soon because I just love it. So cute. The other one, can't say that much about that. I mean, it's not bad and I feel like the colors don't look bad on me. It's just, I don't know. But this one on the other hand though, I don't know. I guess I'm just mad about this whole patchy situation over here. And looking at myself in person, I love this one. This one, not so much. On camera, the blue one does not look bad or as bad, I think. But in person, like just here in the middle, in the mirror, this one is where it's at. And this one is just like, mm, no, I, I couldn't care less for it for this one but i am excited for tomorrow to try the other different shades i am definitely intrigued about those green ones but anyway guys this were looks number one and two and now let's go ahead and jump into looks number three and four hello and welcome to looks number three and four i'm gonna be doing the same thing that i did yesterday i'm gonna do look three on one eye look four on the other eye and then today i'm also gonna film look number five so look number five is going to be both eyes. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm going, I don't know what I'm going to do today if I'm honest with you. I think I said something, but I can't remember what it was. I want to play with the greens, that's for sure. So that's what we are going to start doing. Let me go ahead and grab a brush because I did not grab a brush. Um, so let me find one. All right, I got a brush. This one is my Morphe M332. And like I said, I'm going to be grabbing this shade Ghost Down, which is this green matte over here. This is difficult to hold, but there it is. Um, and where's my mirror? I feel like I'm not prepared at all. Sorry, guys. Um, let's, there it is. And I'm going to go ahead and start applying, like I said, on my crease. So far, I see nothing. So let's go ahead and apply some more without tapping this time. And hopefully that will help with that pigmentation. Okay, I didn't tap this time. Okay, it shows up a little bit more. Let's see. This, this shade is going to be nice for those that don't want a very look. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want something so colorful, but you still want to wear a little bit of color, like with the greens. And maybe even though that um, Bandit Queen from yesterday, um, more on the neutral side, more soft. I don't think it has a whole lot of pigment, which is not bad. It, it is like a pastel, I guess, a sage or eucalyptus, a very light shade. Yeah, I would say a eucalyptus, a more of an olive green person. All right, there we have it. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab a different brush, a smaller brush. Let me see if any of these ones here are clean. No, they're not. All right, <laughs> let me find another brush. I feel like I don't have that many brushes left today, guys. It, even though I washed them, but I did makeup yesterday and like not just on me, but I went and did makeup for a, I want to say a friend or at least a person that I've known for a long time. Um, so yeah, uh, I use some of my brushes for that. Uh, but let's go ahead and get, oh, <laughs> see, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Um, I'm going to use this shade stagecoach mary this one right here and i'm gonna apply this on my outer corner 
I'm gonna make this a very like light color. Oh, that's pretty. It's a very cool tone green. I don't know why it reminds me like of almost like a Christmas tree, like a dusty Christmas tree. <laughs> but it is very pretty and it is performing so far very well. No patchiness. I don't know if it will build up or not. Let's try that. I just applied a little bit more tap and just I don't think it builds up that much but but it does right let's go ahead and keep on going guys I feel like I'm very awkward in this kind of videos like I don't like sure I'm applying this but I don't know what to say you know what I mean like ah sure you're watching me put on makeup and um I don't know I don't want to bore you I want to be entertaining but sometimes I'm like I don't I don't know what to say like today I of course I'm talking about the quality and by the way I am going back with a fresh brush and no product just to blend this outer corner out and of course I you know like to talk to you about how it's it is performing if it's easy to blend quality of the shades or the um the product but but then i run out of words <laughs> um so yeah i'm just going back and forth over here on the outer corner to blend this a little bit but it i think it broke it did it really nicely i don't know why over here on camera at least to me it looks like it's patchy but here in person it does not look patchy that is confusing let's see and i'm gonna go back with my second brush no product just blending here my ac is about to turn on of course let's make some unnecessary noise in our video huh all right and i'm just like very very softly going in circular motions here to kind of bring that color back right there which i think i did but i still think it looks a little bit patchy Maybe I'm crazy, guys. I don't know. Now, I'm just going to leave it like that. And now I'm going to start working on my lid. I don't know what I want to use. Like, I like this colors, but for some reason, I feel like um, calico, it's a little too warm for this greens. And gold rush, gold rush could work. Even, even a rhyolite could work or tombstone. I think I'm going to go with rhyolite, this one right here because that green that calico it's in in my opinion it's a little too you know should i try it let me swatch it and look at it next to my okay so these are the shades of course this this is calico this is gold rush and this is rhyolid so looking at the three of them let me see i definitely think that rhyolid I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm sorry if I'm not. I think that would be the one that looks best or better. But in the pan, it looks more silver-ish than it... Oh, sorry. In the pan, it looks more, more like silverish and cool tone. This one right here. And on my hand, I feel like it looks... Like it has a little shift in... With like pink. Huh. What do I do? Ah, you know what? I'm just gonna go with I don't know. <laughs> um, what about smoky quartz? What should I do, guys? Oh, I almost want to do a like bingo over here just to see what I put on. Um, I'm gonna go with Rylan Nevada. That one I think is just the better or the best one in my opinion for this look. This is more like a topper it is very pretty but it's definitely acting more like a topper i don't think that i see a whole lot of color in here but this is still very pretty if you want something like very very subtle i think you could just go with this and then go back a little bit with this green over here to blend this or where they meet, like both shades. And voila. There's your look. But I guess 
for the purpose of this video, we're going to try something else. We're going to try something more. I do like it. Let me go ahead and finish the on the waterline. Not waterline. Well, kind of like the, la the, the bottom lashes, guys. So let me finish the bottom lashes. Like I said, I'm all over the place today. I am sorry. Okay. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I've decided that for my um, bottom lashes, I'm going to use the shade Arrest Decay. This kind of like dark brown right here. I'm going to put that on a pencil brush and I'm gonna run it on my lower lashes that in I'm gonna grab the second brush and just with no product and blend things down here like that and a little bit more blending right here I feel like I blended that and kind of went away so I'm gonna apply a tiny bit of product which was a shade Stagecoach Mary and I am going to run it down here and up here all right and back with arrested decay I'm just gonna bring back that color over here okay I am liking this look and now for my inner corner I think I'm gonna use the shade tombstone which is this one right here I'm just gonna apply that with my pinky and I'm gonna put it like I said in my inner corner just like that, tiny bit, you see? And this is, look, number, or this is how it could look during the day. And if you want to make it more at night, let's see. Let's go ahead and change this and put maybe, oh, I'm not sure about this. Okay, I'm going to go in with the green that I said I did not want to use, the Calico California. And I'm just going to press it over here where these two shades meet. I don't know why I have a feeling that everybody has done this look already. Maybe, maybe not. Like, it's just very intuitive, you know, based on how these pants are arranged. So I, I feel like this is just a look that you guys have probably seen already. And I'm sorry if that's the case. So I just added that over here for more of a nighttime look. And I am actually thinking about adding another color. We're going to go with Ghost Train, guys. Ghost Train is this purple shade right here. This one right... Oh, come on. This one right here. I'm going to go ahead and use that. And I am going to put it all over the rest of my lid. Because why not? Let's do a colorful look. I should have probably taken a picture before I took the other one off. It's whatever. Not bad. Not my favorite, not going to lie. But not bad. And I'm going to add a little bit more of that green right here. And there you have it. It's not a bad look. It's just not my favorite. Let me... I'm going to grab a little bit of Ghost Town, which is that very pale green. And I'm going to run it over here because I feel like it just went away with those shimmers. Just to bring, bring it back a little bit because... As it is, it barely shows up. And I'm going to grab some more and I'm going to run it over here on my lower lash line. All right, that's it for look number three. Let me put on mascara and then I'll we'll go ahead and do look number four. But let me, yes, so. Let me go. Okay, so this is look number three. It's not bad. On camera, it looks pretty. Um, in person, I still am not convinced. Let me go ahead and put on mascara and then I'll come back and show you the third look and then we start the fourth look. Alright guys, so this is the completed look with mascara. I like how it looks. I like the shift between the purple and the green. Not gonna lie, it is not my favorite, but I definitely like it a lot more than I liked yesterday's blue look. That was just not my thing. This one right here, I could go with this. Definitely first look was my absolute favorite as of now. Now let's go ahead and do look number four and see what we can do with this eye. I kind of had something in mind already. I was hoping I would do something different, but based on yesterday's performance with the blue, I think I'm just going to do this eye and then I'll do something different for my Full look. I'm sorry, at this point I'm talking to myself. But let's go ahead and start with the shade Bandit Queen. This one right here, Bandit Queen. I'm gonna apply that on a fluffy brush and I am not going to tap same situation as the other green. Just don't tap it because we notice it has barely any pigment. So without tapping 
Now that I didn't tap, it shows a lot more. But also, I'm using a dirty brush, so I don't know how much of this is actually Bandit Queen and how much is the other shade, which was Undead Sheriff. Sheriff. I'm applying a little bit more, and I'm just trying to extend it a little bit. As you can see, it looks a little bit patchy over here. And I am starting to think that it might be my eyelid. But no, that is not true because the other one was patchy on this eye, not this eye. So no, not my eye. Maybe it's just that shade that, again, it's not working very well. You see this? You see that line right there? This line right here. It's like so harsh. I don't know what's up with that. I'm gonna try to blend very softly. Some of these shades don't perform very well. Lack of pigment or patchiness, that's not my thing. Let's go ahead and apply the one shade that I am dreading, but we will use it. And I am talking about this one right here, Dead Man's Hand. I'm going to do that on my outer corner. Tap, tap, tap. And start tapping also on the eye. I don't know what two patchy shades will do to each other, but let's try to blend them as much as we can. This one on the opposite hand has a lot of pigment. They both look cute together. Uh, like I was saying, this one has a lot of pigment. So it's the opposite problem as the other one. Nothing wrong with a lot of pigment. I like it whenever it has a lot of pigment. I feel like I've said that word 10 times already. Sorry. But in this case, because yesterday I found it to be patchy, it would be better to be a buildable shade. So far not bad, but it does look over here patchy. Let me go ahead and grab the first brush and blend. All right, much better. I think I still think that I see a little bit of something weird over here all right guys for this one i really don't want to go like super overboard i am just gonna go ahead and grab the shade let's go with smoky quartz this one right here let's see how that performs let's see doesn't matter because i'm gonna remove this anyway from my eyes moment of truth okay not bad not bad this one i feel like it does not have as oh uh, never mind i was gonna say i don't think this one has as much pigment like it's i thought it was going to be also a topper no 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 i love those sparkles they're so cute i don't know if you can see them i don't think the camera does any justice to this sparkles but they are absolutely beautiful it almost makes makes me want to apply something on top still though so it's not as dark you know so i think i'm gonna go ahead and grab the shade again rylet the one that i still don't know if i'm saying correctly or not i'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of that on my face finger and just press it on top of this one to make it even sparklier or all right now i'm just gonna go in what whatever is left in this brush which was a one for the dead man's hand shade i'm just gonna tap it on top to blend these two shades and i am going to grab the first brush no product over here just trying to blend where it meets with the with the matte and the shimmer all right not a bad look. I'm gonna do Dead Man's Hand, which is the dark blue that we use for the outer corner. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that on my bottom lashes. There it is. And with my first brush, I'm just going to blend all of this right here. And a little bit of that shade, of course. All right. And last but not least, let's do the inner corner for that. I am going to go with, again, Rhylite. I think that's going to be my favorite shade. Um, well, no, not really. But for inner corner, at least, I think that one is very, very pretty. It's like a very, look at that, very sparkly, very shimmery, kind of like a chopperish shade. I don't know. I really, really like it. All right, let me go ahead and put on mascara, and then I'll show you, you know, each one of the looks and all of that jazz. Alright well, guys, I am back and these are the completed looks. We got look number three. This one right here, which I showed you already. But here it's a second look at it. And then we get look number four, which is this one. And again... I'm only wearing mascara if you know me. I don't like to do any lashes or anything. They are just very annoying to me. I just don't like them. I don't I don't know why. My eyes just feel heavy and it's just like, a, no thanks. I don't want to struggle with that. But, like I said, these are the completed looks. I really 
I'm not mad about this one, even though I'm not a big, big fan of um, cool tones. I think that from both looks, I like this one a little bit better. Like the, the colors that I chose for this look more cohesive than this one. And the, here's the thing. I feel like every look that I've seen with that kind of like purplish shade, it's just like it, it, that, that shade just doesn't go with any of those colors. And same thing for that Calico California, which is like a very yellowish kind of green. I just feel like those two shades, they really don't match with the color story. So as put it the way you want to put it, I just feel like they don't look good. Everything else, I think it does. It matches very nicely, like I said, with this ones. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it is not my preference, you know? And here, of course, on this, I am using both shades of those. So it's like, mm, you get here, you're like yellowish, goldish, lime, green, and then, and then boom, dark or very cool tone green. Like, anyway, guys, let me go ahead take this off and i'll show you look number five i'm gonna do the the one of my eyes first and then we'll go through the second eye together okay all right guys i am back and this is going to be the final look i created a halo eye this is very neutral and i'm not gonna lie even though you guys know me i am not a neutral person i do not it's not that i don't like neutrals on me i do but they are not my favorite i much prefer a colorful eyeshadow on me but this it's very pretty i think this is gonna be probably like my second favorite look from the five that i've created the look number one or the first one that i did it's still by far my favorite <laughs> i am still i'm not gonna say obsessed but i definitely really really like that one and i cannot wait to probably recreate that tomorrow on both of my eyes and just wear it you know with my like a droop for the whole day that's what i'm trying to say all right but let's go ahead and get started on the other eye so you can follow along with me and let me tell you um i only removed the makeup from my eyes from the other ones and i use the neutrogena makeup wipey removers they are horrible they're terrible like bad my eyes like my under eye area still feels like it's burning a little bit like my eyes were just stinging the skin around my eyes was red i don't know how people use those i don't know how you guys like it i don't know if you like them or not but i know that some people use them and it was like no like i knew they were bad but i have never used them and i purchased those just to like remove I, I usually use those to remove like whenever i have swatches um i you know take those away with that but just so i didn't have to do my whole face again i went ahead and, and used those on my eyes nope 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 and never again no anyway let's go ahead and get started so the first that i did was use the shade undead sheriff and i mixed it with bandit queen and I am not going to tap because we know the Bandit Queen has barely any pigment. But I'm going to go ahead and start just tapping a little bit right here. And now let's start just blending. I wasn't sure about what I wanted to create. But at the end, I decided a halo eye. Because if not, I felt like it was going to look very similar to the first look. And I just want to give you guys some variety. Now, with this other brush, this one is a Ferro Blender Brush 25E. I'm going to grab this shade Deadwood, this one right here. And then I'm just going to start tapping it on my outer corner. This one does have a lot of pigment and builds up really nicely. We're going to be definitely building this up. But for now, just make sure that it blends nicely before we add any more. Did you pick this palette up, guys, or are you going to try to dupe it? Honestly, I personally know that I could have not duped this palette because I do not have that many cool tones in my collection. I don't like cool tones as much. Also, another thing that I've noticed, there's no fallout. At least with the shades that I've used, even the darker ones, like the blue ones and this very dark brown, like, no fallout. So I'm very happy about that. This means I can do my makeup how I usually do it, which is first I do my base and then my eyeshadow. For the shimmer, I'm going to be using the shade Copper Penny, this one right here. I'm going to apply it just with my fingers. I did not use any glitter glue or anything or glitter primer. I just apply that like on my lid, you know. 
it is like this this also i noticed that this one this copper penny it's a little bit thicker this one requires for me to drag it a little bit more than the other ones but it still performs really nicely and it looks really really nice once it's on the eye and of course i'm gonna go back with this brush and no product all right and now with the first brush and a little bit of that banded queen shade i'm just gonna blend it right here i don't know if you can hear my cat or not but she's over here meowing she wants in but i'm not letting her come in <laughs> um i feel like this eye looks more rounder or rounder than this eye that's what i that's what's throwing me off now well, i'm gonna grab a pencil brush and for this one i'm just gonna grab the shade deadwood which is that very dark brown right here wait this one right here and i'm just gonna run it under my eyelash or under yeah on my lower lash line all right and with the first brush the one that we use for blending i'm gonna grab the shade banded queen and i'm just going to mix this blend it i still think that this eye is a little bit more than this one let's go ahead and apply the inner corner shade and see if that makes it a little bit better so for my inner corner i'm using the shade tombstone this one right here and applying it like i said on my inner corner okay let me go ahead and apply mascara and i will come back with a final look all right guys i am back and this is the completed look like i said very neutral very simple but it's still very dramatic because of that halo eye and just from using that very dark brown shade i don't know i really like it even though it's a neutral one and I am not into neutrals, I feel like I've said that like five times already in this video. Um, I still really, really like this look. I like how it turned out. I feel like it goes really, really well with what I am wearing right now, of course. Um, and this is just the first lipstick that I found. I don't think this goes very well with the look, but it doesn't look bad, again, because this is neutral. So it still goes somewhat with it, but it's a little too too much for me. Not too much. It, I just feel like it's too much on both ends, you know, either it is too much on your mouth or it is too much on your eyes. Not both. Otherwise, it can look a little bit weird if it's not like the same color story which obviously it is not here but yes i am very happy very pleased with how this turned out and i also am very happy with the quality of uh, let me take everything out of here of this palette like i said earlier it was my this is my first nomad cosmetics one i already went ahead and purchased a second one not the same palette of course but i went and purchased the one that I have been wanting since last year, which was the Hudson Valley one. That one is so right up my alley with all of those warm tones. That's, yes, that's me. That screams my name and also very colorful. But this palette, um, even though it's very much different from the other one, I still like it a whole lot. I love this, this packaging, you know, that it changes. I think it's super cool. And the formula in here, it's really nice. I am not going to lie. I'm a little bit disappointed on this shade and this shade that they really don't have a whole lot of pigment. This Rylet shade, I really, really like it. This Garnet shade, definitely one of my favorite ones. Also Tombstone. And um, I think that's about it. But quality overall, I think it's really nice. Um, those shimmers, they are something else. They're something different. I've said it many times in this video. They have like a, this putty texture that I feel like I have not felt in any other eyeshadow palettes before. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. You know the drill. If you like this video, please make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification button so you don't miss any single one of my videos. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.